Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you finally. And as you saw from the title, the title kind of gives it away. Today I'm going to dive in in some of the products that I purchased them from the drugstore. Most part of them, they're from Maybelline New York and L'Oreal Paris. And in the left hand side, I have the products that I will recommend for you guys. And I used to use them on a daily basis before this quarantine happened. And on the right hand side, I have a few items that they kind of disappoint me and uh, in the last three weeks I haven't applied anything on my skin besides creams and I am so happy I see a real improvement in my skin but at the same time I just I wanted to feel a bit glam and after three weeks of no makeup I said girl it's time for you to kind of glam it up and spice it up a bit so um, Maybe I'm gonna recreate like a cat eye makeup look. I'm not really too sure what's gonna happen because I have few colors and shades that I really want to try it on. And yeah, with no further ado, let's just go into the video. The first step before even applying the moisturizer, it's the hair. I don't like my hair to be in the way when I'm doing my makeup, so that's why I always pull it back like this and we can start with the moisturizing so i have this a new ultimate night cream um, it's from avon it's a great cream even though it's a night cream i love it and i use it on a daytime as well because it leaves my skin hydrated and plumped and i really love it it's like a very good base for the foundation and at the back of every single uh product it says the expiration date and this one it has like 12 months so my mom kind of um, wanted to make me a gift <laughs> a few months ago and she was like girl what should I give to you and <laughs> because she had so many creams I was like can I pick this one so I picked this one and I couldn't be any more happier I think is the best cream I have ever used in my life with no like I'm not sugar coated or anything and when you're applying your cream, it's best to use the ring finger instead of the index finger because this finger is much more gentle with the skin surrounding your eyes and it's best to use circular motions as well just like so And because hello 30 in few more months yes i cannot believe that i'm turning 30 next year <sighs> anyway <laughs> i like to use this small movement like this when applying the cream because gravity and time plays a big role in your aging process By the way, don't forget about the neck as well. To be honest with you, sometimes I do forget about the neck. So I would definitely recommend this cream from Avon, it's amazing. And now onto the primer. I have this primer from Revolution and you guys, I don't like it at all. It leaves my skin sticky. Maybe this was their intention. I don't really know, but I'm gonna apply it anyway for you guys to see and i've seen that this this is in trend right now you know and again do this i don't feel like it actually does anything for my skin besides just feeling sticky oh my god no it's like um right now that the primer is done and i wouldn't recommend this primer from revolution we can go on to the foundation part a lot of you who knows me you know that i love makeup since i was like 14 15 years old i used to use my fingers to apply my foundation however last year i've seen some youtube tutorials and some beauty gurus using their brushes to apply their foundation and i said let's try it on and i bought this nyx 
brush and since I start using it, I've noticed some blemishes around my cheeks. It was never there before this brush. And this brush is kind of very thick and it's not really spaced out. It's very strong. Maybe I was in a hurry to go to work at the same time and I was kind of applying the foundation very, very strong. I'm not really too sure, but I kind of blame the brush. So if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely not recommend this brush. And I have this uh, great foundation from L'Oreal Paris uh, 25 Rose Ivory and this Maybelline New York in 10 Ivory and I like to put both because as Aline Mom said I have an Aryan skin and at first I didn't really know what Aryan skin was and I was like what is that girl <laughs> I'm not really too sure but I did my research you guys and I found out that this uh, Aryan race, it's like a combination between Indo-European and Caucasian. So I was like, eh, okay, I'll take it. And uh, yeah, so I have Aryan skin. I think what she tried to say that I have a very white skin. Well, since this blemishes, I'm kind of a bit red in my cheeks. So I don't know if I'm still in that category anymore. So now I'm gonna start to apply the foundation. You don't really want to rub it in like this just want to tap it in just tap 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 we don't want to use our face I use the beauty blender because now my nails are very very long so it's kind of hard to apply especially around the eyes so I love mix and match my foundation because as I said before my skin is Aryan I mean I have like white and red and yellow skin so one foundation doesn't really suit my skin so I'll definitely recommend this too and now we can go on to the concealer part I have this concealer from Maybelline New York eraser and it has this funny applicator just need to do like this for the product to come out around my eyes I don't really have dark circles thank God but I still have some purple around my eyes especially when I'm waking up in the morning and again I'm gonna go with the beauty blender I don't like to apply a lot I don't like my face to feel cakey and the foundation doesn't leave my skin cakey as well it leaves my skin uh, like it's not perfect as you can see but I don't like that foundation that it's full coverage and I look like a white canvas I look like perfect out of a box I like to look a bit normal a bit natural <laughs> so that's done as well I have a bit of hyperpigmentation here and yeah my skin sometimes uh, it's very white especially in the winter when my face hasn't seen the sun for like months or like these days that I'm home and I'm not really going out and my face is super white and Aline always used to say to me like you look like a white cheese and I'm like thank you for that you know thank you so much <laughs> I definitely need some sun in my life but the sun kind of ages, so it's kind of a battle. Should I go in the sun? Should I not go in the sun? What should I do? Right, so now the concealer is done. So I'll definitely recommend this concealer from Maybelline New York. It's amazing. And now onto the powder. I have this L'Oreal Paris powder, and guys, it's so used out at the back. I don't see um, the validity anymore. So I don't remember when I open it. It's not like I'm keeping a diary of the products that I haven't opened. But hopefully it's still valid. Pray for me, guys. 
do not have a rush or anything. Um, yeah, as you see, super used out. So I'm gonna use this brush. I like to go in my cheeks, in my hairline, my nose sometimes, and the jawline. My jawline is kind of inexistent. So I don't like to apply too much. I want to look like sun kissed, you know? And if somebody sees me to be like, where have you been, Christina? Have you been to Thailand or Bali? And I'm like, I've just been in my bedroom for the last three weeks. So nothing really happened there. <laughs> So that's the look I'm kind of aiming for. I love to apply it here because it makes your nose shorter. Shorter, shorter, shorter. <laughs> no, I'm definitely I'm not gonna leave it like this, you guys. <laughs> I have to blend out. Decent. My next step is gonna be the illuminator, and I have this illuminator from L'Oreal Paris. It's Glow Chéri Sublimateur d'Eclat Naturel. I don't know if I pronounced it that good, but uh, yeah, I used to use this uh, product last year in the summer, and I didn't really use anything else. So I would just apply this because it kind of gives you a bit of a coverage, like a foundation and it's very shimmery. So if you're already tan, it looks amazing with just a mascara and you can go out the door looking like you actually give a shit about your look that day. So yeah, it's very nice. It's not really like an, the usual illuminator. It's not that blinding, but as I said, it gives you like a sun kissed look. You notice there? It's definitely there. So I would recommend this L'Oreal Paris Glossary. Okay, let's say Glossary. It's 24 hours hydration. It says here it doesn't really have a shade because if I do remember correctly, when I was in the store, they had like three or four shades. So I think this was the lightest. Right, and now that everything is done, we can go on to where we can go on to. On to the brows. I love this L'Oreal Paris pomade, and I love it so much that this brush, guys, is so used out. <laughs> oh, I might need another brush, but the pomade is still here. And my brows are very linear, it's like no arch there, so I'm just going to try to recreate an arch. And um, the hardest part is actually to kind of match the eyebrows. And I've heard that your eyebrows, they don't have to look like twins, but they have to look like sister. They don't have to be identical. So, I mean, I'll try to do that. Moving on, on to the eyeshadows, even though I love this burgundy bar from Maybelline New York, I don't like the fact that this shadow has fallen out. Happened the same to this L'Oreal Paris palette, Le Petit Palette, this is how it's called, these two shades. Bye bye, out the window. I don't know what happened in there guys, because I didn't really abuse these palettes. They were just sitting in my drawers or maybe in my bag, but yeah. However, I love the shades, I love the color. So for your eyes to look alive and have a bit of depth at the same time, it's best to use the lightest shade that you have in your palette and then apply it to the inner corner of the eye and then go gradually to the end of the eye with a darker shade. But maybe you don't want to have like a full smoky eye effect, so then it's best to pick some uh, neutral shadows. And now we can go to apply my lightest shade. I'm gonna apply it in my brow bone.
and in the inner corner of the eye. And I know it looks rough right now, but blending is the key, you guys. So we're gonna blend everything out. Just like so. And now I'm going to apply the darkest shade that I have in the palette, which is this brown. And now onto the eyeliner. I'm going to use this tattoo liner from Maybelline New York and I wouldn't recommend it for you guys because it's getting dry so quickly when you're applying it and then when you want to take it off, it's actually peeling off so you can't really clean it and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about I mean at least I love the applicator like do you see this look that's why I wouldn't really recommend it for you because it's getting in your eye when you clean your makeup off now I'm gonna try to apply it again to see what happens I mean, it still looks presentable, but at the same time, this is not really for me. And now onto applying mascara. I love this L'Oreal Paris Miss Hippie. And uh, this Bourgeois Mascara, I think I pronounced it good, hopefully. And I love the fact that it has like a mirror, which is great. If you're in a rush and you're in a tube or going to work, you can simply just grab this out of your bag and then apply it. It's very easy. I like to use two mascaras because the brush from this one, I don't really like it and it makes my lashes kind of like a spider and this one separates them. Moving on to the lips, I would recommend this L'Oreal Paris lipstick because when I went to the store, I really intend to buy a lipstick and not a lip gloss. And this lipstick doesn't do anything for my lips, doesn't hydrate them, it doesn't have a full coverage. As you can see. So I'll definitely not recommend this one. However, I would recommend this um, Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline New York and I have in a few shades. I really love them. But I have to warn you guys, this lipstick stays forever. It's a very, very lasting lipstick. And I'm gonna use this 65 Seductress. And I'm gonna apply it. Sometimes I like to apply it above the line of my lips, but shh, I'll say it. And because I love to mix and match as well the lipsticks, I'm gonna use this Tent Dreamer shade. And voila! This is the final look, you guys. What do you think? Some thoughts, some impressions? Did I nail it? Did I not nail it? I think it's like a cranberry cat eye makeup. Hmm, okay. Guys, thank you so much for sticking up with me till the end. Um, if you like this look, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And with that said, see you in my next videos. Bye!